New year, new wig, new products. Hey guys, how are you today? My name is Bailey Sarian and I am doing a tutorial using some new products. I wanna give them a whirl and see how it goes. We are still in my room. I just kinda like readjusted to like this corner area that really works. The other area I was filming at just, it was, it was not gonna work. It was not gonna work. Also, this chair is so squeaky and I need a new one. So bear with me if it squeaks a lot. I got pink hair, okay, I just wanna be cute today. That's the goal. Not everything I'm going to use is new. It's just kinda of like, I'll call out what's new. How about that? The foundation I'm going to be using to, oh God, I need to wash this. This is disgusting. It's my Clarisonic brush head thing, girl. Okay, I'm gonna wash it after this tutorial. Um, I'm going to be using the NARS Natural Radiant Longwear Foundation, and this is in Punjab. When I self tan, this matches really well. I don't know if it's gonna match right now. We're gonna find out. This is new to me. It's a sponge from Morphe. It's the Highlight and Contour Beauty Sponge. Blend the rules. That's what it says on the packaging. Blend the rules, bitches. So when I use that Clarisonic tool, sometimes I come back with my sponge just to blend. Morphe sent me a package if you watched my Facebook Live. I went on Facebook Live, I was very nervous. I did an unboxing and Morphe sent me like everything from their collection. If you haven't noticed, I have not used Morphe on my channel before. You know, every influencer and their mother was using Morphe and shoving like a discount code down your throat. And I just didn't, it just made me not want to get it even more. And then it kind of turned into a controversy where people were lying and saying that it was good because they wanted you to use their discount code. How could they? You know, I just didn't want to get into it. I haven't shaved my armpits, so let's keep that covered. This is new to me. I actually got this back in December and I've used it once. And I was going to do like a dedicated review video, but because it was the holidays and I was just lagging, it was my fault. I have no excuse. It was my fault, okay? It was my fault. The Kylie Jenner, you guys, I got the Kylie Jenner concealer. She came out with a shit ton of concealers, okay. Shopping for a concealer or a foundation online, it should be illegal. The swatches that were on her website, it was just confusing. So I got four of them. They were $20, which I thought it was actually a good price for a concealer because I mean, most concealers are a little bit more than that. The ones that I really like, like Shape Tape. So these are the swatches of the four that I got. Shell, Bone, Ivory, and Sand. My under eyes are dark. like. It's not good right now. Anywho, so I'm using bone to color correct. If you guys have not noticed, I have hyperpigmentation and just a really dark under eye in general. So I am so picky when it comes to concealers, but concealers are hands down like my favorite thing to shop for and my favorite thing to buy. I have a sickening amount of concealers because I'm always just trying and looking for the one, the one that changes my life. I want it to be so heavy duty and so flawless that it just covers everything with one swipe. Like that's what I want, you know? Her products are just for her fans. Let's be real here. None of them are really like innovative or unique. They will always remind you of something else that's already out there. I'm not hating on her. I mean, she can charge those ridiculous prices because people still buy them because they just like her. If Oprah ever came out with a makeup line, I would buy everything, you know? So I understand the excitement of when someone you like comes out with something you could buy. Anywho, so this is the Lancome Tient Idol Ultra Wear Makeup Stick 420 Bisque Neutral. Mauclair Sonic to blend it out. Did I just put my pinky up when I drank that? Oh my God, who am I? Getting all fancy. Oh, this is new. This is the Patrick Star Patrick's Powder Set Powder. This is by MAC. This powder has like a pink hue to it, counteract the darkness. With MAC's setting powder, I've never really had too much luck with them. I always tend to look really cakey. So I'm using the setting powder on the corner of my eyes because I'm gonna do my, my eyes next and this will help catch fallout, but also help keep a clean edge right here. Saint, you either gotta, you gotta make a decision, in or out. You like attention? Do you want some powder? Boop, boop. I wish Saint could talk, how cool would that be? But what if he was annoying? I take that back. 
I kind of like having a friend that listens to me and doesn't say anything back, you know? Sometimes you just need that. It's like a wall, but they have emotion. So it's like an emotional wall. Oh man, HQ is starting. Are any of you guys playing HQ? I'm addicted. Hi, H Cuticles. Guest Limerick. God damn it, I got it wrong. Will I ever win HQ? If you guys don't know, it's like a free, it's an app that you can get on your phone. They go twice a day. He reads a question and you answer it. And it's random ass questions. You hit the right answer. And then if you make it all the way until question 12, you win the jackpot, which is $12,000. And it's free. You don't have to enter any type of credit card information. Anybody can win. They pay you via PayPal and it's fun. I don't know, me and Fernando were like super addicted to it, but the questions are hard. I think the farthest I got was to question number seven. I've tried to like Google the question while, but you only have 10 seconds to answer. I, I'm too slow. I didn't have enough time. I try to cheat is what I'm saying. I have like a referral code and everybody gets a referral code. You type in Bailey Sarian if you sign up for HQ and I don't know if it gives you an extra life and me an extra life or just me. I don't know. I know a few people on Snapchat used my referral code because I mentioned it there. I kind of feel guilty because if it didn't give them an extra life, then it's like, S sorry, you get nothing for using my code. This is not an advertisement it, and I don't get money if you use my referral code. I'm just putting it out there. Okay, I mentioned in the beginning of this tutorial that I got a lot, I got a big package from Morphe and they sent me a lot of stuff. So I'm going to be using some of their brushes and this eyeshadow palette. This is the 3502 or 3502. I'm taking the shade Ablaze with the Morphe E22 brush. Delium Tools 540 brush. It's got a really small tip to it. And I'm taking my Chart Tarte Shape Tape Concealer. Okay, so I wanted like a shimmery or metallic pink color and this palette doesn't have one. This is called Whimsical and it's from Makeup Geek. So I'm using Whimsical because I'm feeling real whimsical right now. Stila Magnificent Metals Glitter and Glow Liquid Eyeshadow Diamond Dust. I'm using the brush to just kind of like lightly stamp it on there. Now I'm going to do the other eye, the exact same thing, and I will be right back. Look how sick. I look like a doll. Cream Shop Eyelashes, number 607. I just cut them up into threes, one, two, three, and then put them down here. And then I did two in here, one, two, two, three, two, three, three, five, three, five. That makes sense. Now let's finish the rest of my face. This is the 9C palette. This is patchy. Look at that. <laughs> okay, I'm gonna keep it real, you guys. Right now I'm currently a Monet. From far away, I look, I look real cute. Up close. It's a big fat mess. Look at all of this texture. My nose, patchy. My eyes look cute. Anyways, let's just keep going. So yeah, I'd definitely skip on that contour palette if you were debating it. Let's do, this is the highlighting palette. DD is what it's called. Dirty Diana. Just kidding, that's not what it was.
Okay, what, what happened? That's fine, I'm going to my safety net, which is the Hourglass Metallic Strobe Lighting Palette. I really like mixing this one and this one. Gives me the prettiest luminous finish. My under eyes look a mess. I think it's just a combination of the Kylie concealers and then the Patrick Star powder. I really think that MAC powder is just made to be like a light, lightly set powder, not something to like fully cake on and bake because it added so much texture underneath my eyes. This wig is so cheap, it keeps getting tangled. It's pissing me off. Okay, for my lips, I figured I should just go dramatic and do something bold because ugh, at this point, why not? MAC Lip Liner in Current. This is Kat Von D Liquid Lipstick in Vampira. Oh, I look like a vampire, but like a hot one with a Lamborghini, you know. Make it forever, Artist Acrylic Lip Paint 501. Look at this eye. It's so good. Anyways, I hope you guys like this tutorial. It's honestly just makeup. So, I mean, you can wear this to the grocery store. You can wear it to Target, to Walmart, the gas station, work, the corner, the club, taco night, your parent-in-laws, wherever you want. Because guess what? It's just makeup. It washes off. It doesn't define who you are as a person. Don't forget to follow me on, like, I'm on Snapchat, I'm on Facebook, I'm on Instagram, I'm on YouTube, I'm on Twitter. If you wanna like hang out with me, come over there and hang out with me. If you want, you can also like and subscribe, you know? Might be cool if we could hang out. And I think I will probably shut up. Uh, I'm so in love with you. I hope you have a good day today, you make good choices, and I will be seeing you guys very soon. We're starting 2018 off right, girl, look at this eye. It's predicting the future of what's to come.